Welcome to the 2020 Heart of America Speech and Debate Tournament uh, Award Ceremony. Uh, before we get started, I, I have a couple of people I want to acknowledge and thank. My name is Tim Baldwin, and I'm the district chair of the Heart of America District Tournament. Uh, first of all, uh, I wanted to let the students know how proud I am of them, how proud their coaches are of them, uh, how proud the committee is. Uh, you all have brought a sense of community uh, to our organization, to our group of people. It's been wonderful to see the sportsmanship all week long from you all. We are so proud of your accomplishments, your hard work, uh, and how you've interacted with one another this week uh, during what is uh, the most impossible district debate tournament I've ever seen. I also want to thank judges uh, who volunteered their time and their wisdom and their effort to counsel our students. We know um, it was challenging with a schedule that dictated uh, debates every night as opposed to on a particular weekend. And then finally, uh, I, I also want to thank all of my colleagues who are coaches. I think it's pretty clear that the people that we teach are amazing individuals who are going to do amazing things. They displayed that this week uh, and in an incredible activity. Uh, congratulations to you all uh, for making such a difference in the lives of students and for doing what you do. Uh, last, I'd like to thank the committee uh, for the Heart of America District, uh, Tyler Unsel, Jennifer Holden, uh, and Sean Nicewarner who've done a phenomenal job of helping us facilitate, uh, make decisions and run this tournament. Uh, I also wanna thank Sheila Holt, uh, who sits on the committee and was my debate partner all week. Uh, does a phenomenal job with judges, sacrifices her time, is selfless, and always puts students' uh, interests above all else. Uh, and I think that that's a testament to how the tournament operated this week. With that, we'll begin the awards part of the program. For our first award, we'd like to recognize a public, uh, public nomination award where anyone in the district can nominate an assistant coach that they think have gone beyond, above and beyond uh, in their pursuit of education in the community. Tonight, we'd like to honor Kyle Howe from Park Hill High School as the Heart of America 2020 Assistant Coach of the Year. Mr. Howe was nominated by Mr. Crabtree of Park Hill High School. Mr. Crabtree writes that Mr. Howe is the consummate professional, a national board certified teacher in history and a master teacher. He's an outstanding assistant coach, has a great bond with young people and manages to, to instill their value in each and every one of them. For a number of years, he's co-chaired the supplemental and consolation division of the NSDA national tournament and even after long days of hard work, he's still excited to work with young people and coaches involved in these events. He's a natural leader and one of the kindest people I've ever known. Kyle Howe truly represents the NSDA Coaches Code of Honor in every way. On behalf of the district committee, we're proud to acknowledge Kyle Howe as this year's Assistant Coach of the Year. We also have a leading chapter award. The Leading Chapter Award is based on members and degrees. They accumulate over the years. The chapter with the most members and degrees after the year is awarded the Leading Chapter Award, and then their number sets to zero. The Leading Chapter Award this year is awarded to Park Hill, South High, School, or Park Hill High School for their work from 2011 to 2020. Park Hill High School is coached by Tyler Unsel who instills in his students a sense of community, pride, and excellence. We're proud to recognize Park Hill High School as the Heart of America leading chapter this year. The next award is Student of the Year. Again, a public award where we receive input and nominations from coaches. There were very, very qualified applicants for this year's Student of the Year, but the winner of the Student of the Year Award is Sarah Ragsdale of North Kansas City High School. Her coach, Mrs. Dollinger, writes 
that Sarah currently does not uh, does the early college academy and is in high school part of the day and then goes to college. But she planned all of her classes so that she could still debate. This activity is a life for her. It's an escape from dysfunctional home life and it gives her meaning and purpose. The student of the year selection committee was impressed with Sarah Ragsdale's ability to persevere. The nomination expresses her dedication to helping everyone explore and express their own voices with skill and with confidence. This is a unique task, but one which the committee believes Sarah will embrace with sensitivity and zeal. The selection committee feels that Sarah is also a great team player whose leadership and communication skills also impact communities outside of her own team. Congratulations, Sarah Ragsdale from North Kansas City High School. We are absolutely certain that you will represent the Heart of America District with integrity and excellence at the National Tournament for National Student of the Year. Next, we have awards in duo interpretation. National qualifiers from Savannah High School, Aiden Allen and Luke Bowie. From Truman High School, national qualifiers in duo interp, Hadley Brillert and Gabby Patentler. From Liberty High School, national qualifiers, Regan Mills and Gracie Thompson. Congratulations to those who qualified in duo interpretation. Next, we have awards in policy debate. The first alternates to the national tournament from Park Hill South High School are Amy Graham and Matt Cruz. National qualifiers from Truman High School, get a load of these two, Garrett Burton and Aiden Smith. Congratulations, guys. National qualifiers from William Chrisman High School, Bank Daniel and Jacob Johnson. And your tournament champions, national qualifiers from Park Hill High School, Alicia Stout and Nick Johnson. Awards in Lincoln Douglas debate. <coughs> your first alternate from Liberty North High School, Max Hodes. Your national qualifier from Fort Osage High School, Elisa Hill. Also qualifying to the national tournament from Liberty, Alexis Fischel. Qualifying nationals, Katie Boffman from Liberty High School. And your tournament champion, a national qualifier from Park Hill High School, Elizabeth Apple. Congratulations to those qualifying in Lincoln Douglas debate. Now we have awards in public forum debate. Your first alternates to the national tournament from Liberty High School, Kieran Diol and Grace Guillaume from Liberty North High School. National qualifiers, Blake Katzenberger and Will Bender. Also from Liberty North High School, qualifying to the national tournament, Delaney Clawson and Hunter Aikmas. Your tournament champions and national qualifiers. I did that wrong, actually. Uh, not tournament champions, still national qualifiers. Congratulations to everybody. Sorry, I messed up that slide. Anywho, national qualifiers from Park Hill South High School, Tyler Unrath and Parker Rivers. Oh, I didn't have oh, shucks. These are your tournament champions. From Park Hill High School, national qualifiers, Sydney Cobb and Greta Jones. See, it's just like a real award ceremony. I mess up, that's par for the course. Awards and program of oral interpretation. In sixth place from Liberty High School, Mallory Chapman. In fifth place from Liberty North High School, Jackson Faulkner. A national qualifier from Liberty North High School, Michaela Armstead. In third place, a national qualifier from Liberty High School, Kennedy Nassim. In second place, a national qualifier from Liberty North High School, Georgia Barge. Your tournament champion, already a national qualifier in duo and going in that event, or this one, we'll see, Hadley Brillert from Truman High School. Congratulations to everyone who qualified in program of oral interpretation. 
Next, we have awards in United States extent. In sixth place, from Park Hill South High School, Tyler Unrath. In fifth place, from Liberty, Sam Torno. In fourth place, from Park Hill High School, and a national qualifier, Teddy Hubbich. Next, a qualifier in public forum debate from Liberty North High School, Delaney Clausen. A national qualifier from Liberty High School, Olivia Cotton. Your tournament champion, a national qualifier from Park Hill South High School, Amy Graham. Congratulations to qualifiers in USX. Next, we have awards in original oratory. In sixth place from Truman High School, Paige Gonzalez. In fifth place from North Kansas City High School, Asada Starks. In fourth place, and a national qualifier from Liberty High School, Kelsey Thielen. Next, a national qualifier from Liberty North High School, Warren Barge. A national qualifier in public form already in second place, Sydney Cobb from Park Hill High School. And your tournament champion, a national qualifier for, I'm pretty sure it's the third year in a row, it might be more, from Savannah High School, Luca Freccia. Congratulations to those qualifying in original oratory. Next, we have awards in international extemp. In sixth place, from Liberty High School, Caden Metcalf. In fifth place, from Park Hill High School, Greta Jones. In fourth place, from Liberty, Logan Heil. In third place, a national qualifier from North Kansas City High School, Yasmin Hanan. In second place, a national qualifier from Liberty North High School, Taylor Neal. Your tournament champion, a national qualifier from Park Hill South High School, Matt Cruz. These are awards and informative speaking. Congrats, of course, to those in IX. Info in sixth place. From Staley High School, Sarah Beam. In fifth place, Noah Koppel from Oak Park High School. In fourth place, from William Crispin High School, Bank Daniel. In third place, a national qualifier from Park Hill, Anna Cashett. Next, a national qualifier from North Kansas City High School, Trent Dixon. And your tournament champion, a national qualifier from Park Hill South High School, Riley Parman. We have awards in humorous interpretation next. Congratulations, those of you who qualified in informative. In sixth place, from Lafayette High School in St. Joe, Destiny Huber. In fifth place, from Liberty North High School, Victoria Morelli. In fourth place, a national qualifier from Truman High School, Ava Autry. In third place, a national qualifier in duo from Truman High School, Gabby Patentler. A national qualifier in second place from Liberty North High School, Kyle Layton Floyd. Your tournament champion in HI, a national qualifier from Liberty, Evan Marley. Congratulations to those who qualified in HI. Awards in Dramatic Interpretation are next. In sixth place, Ava Waleski from Liberty North High School. In fifth place, Jamie Lewis from Liberty North High School. In fourth place, from Liberty, Daisy Smith. In third place, a national qualifier from Liberty High School, Olivia Sherman. In second place, a national qualifier from Truman, Paige Gonzalez, your tournament champion, a national qualifier from Liberty, Rand Brown. To those of you who've qualified, 
we know that you'll represent your coaches, teammates, and opponents at this coming national tournament. This community is so lucky to have you, and we are all rooting for you. To everyone who participated, whether it was you as a competitor, or the judges, or the coaches who were involved, or your parents who brought you tea or dinner as you were debating, thank you so much for making this community a place where people could gather and be in a community at a time where that's a very, very rare thing. Thank you all for making this week so special. And thank you all for making this tournament happen.